three times now? You think you think maybe maybe I do something about it? Maybe I put like a cat down there. I think I need to get a cat down there in the doorway, just like greeting all the creepers. Stupid things just keep coming up here. I think I'm like AFK in my storage room, thinking I'm safe. No, 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 no. Hi, welcome back to Hermitcraft. The day has finally come, finally come, where I do something with these little guys right here, namely, namely these two. Redstone collection one, redstone collection two. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's right, that's right. We're gonna open up our redstone shop today. I, we also did some work on the factory and we'll probably get back to the factory today. It's not 100% operational yet. And by not 100%, I mean it's not even 50% operational. But I really, 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 really wanna get my redstone shop going here because look, Look, I mean, there's shops everywhere. There's like, with, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of pop-up shops. So I'm not a big fan of the pop-ups, but there's a lot of real shops coming up too. Like, look at this, this street here, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's spoilers, spoiler shops, spoiler shops everywhere. Now I've got a building. It's not massive, but it's pretty big. So I need a good spot for it. Uh, all of this obviously is what these little shops are, are taken in here. We're gonna do one a little bit bigger. I mean, not that. Big. And I think, I think the cow knows best. This cow. I think this is gonna make an amazing spot for my redstone shop here. I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of terraforming, but I like the idea that it's up on the hill because I have very specific plans for it to be on the hill. I wanna do things with the terrain around my shop as well. Now I know, I think this is Ethos shop. I shouldn't say I know. I'm pretty sure this is Ethos shop here between the scaffolding. He's gonna put his frog light shop here because, and I know this isn't spoilers. Where is it? Where is it? Where, where's the thing with the, with the frogs and the, and the thing? Here it is. Because down here, he's making a frogger game with Ravagers, and it might be the most brilliant project ever. So I don't want to impede on his action here, but I think if he's... I'll talk to him today, but I think if he is just going between those scaffolding there, there's plenty of room for me to build up here, but... I've got a ton of, of even prep terraforming. I gotta take about a bunch of trees. I gotta cover up this ravine of death here. <laughs> oh, that goes right down to his game. Look at that, that's cool. Hello there, refugees. So I suppose I will just dig right in, quite literally, and start clearing all this out because I'm very, very excited to get the shop going. Hello, Mr. Dango. How are you today? And a little tired. Fantastic. <laughs> you, went, you went with the cookie cutter, and then you're like, no, actually, I'm miserable. And, uh. <laughs> to be honest with you, I didn't sleep yeah. as long as I probably yeah, should yeah. have. But. I know, you were up early at the crack of dawn today. You yeah. Gotta say. yeah. It's the geese. The Canadian geese are back, Tango. Oh, the They're honkers. Oh, the, the honkers, honkers are back. The worst. Hey, dubs. hey. Oh. oh, hi. Hey, I'm just here to make sure. There's no ripping off going on. No ripping right. off. Okay. My manager. Yeah. Wait, what? Hold on. What do you mean you manager? I got I got to talk. You got you got an agent now what's happening? He protects me from uh, shady deals that you might be attempting, but maybe not. We'll see. That's we'll see. right. Ethos a nice guy. People try to take advantage. I'm uh, here to make sure everything's on the up and up. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Then very good. There's actually no deals happening here. There's just a uh, an agreement. That needs to come. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about there. that. I saw this scaffolding and I figured uh, someone might be building here. And then I saw uh, Frogger Town down there and I knew who it was. So you're building your shop here. Can I answer? You are allowed to answer. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, wow. I was thinking about roughly around here. Okay. Well, well, how would you like a neighbor? Potentially a close neighbor. Because I'm thinking of building <laughs> up on that hill uh, up there. How close are we thinking? I'm thinking yeah, right close. up here. And all on the hill. Well, if, you, if you go on top of the hill, it's perfectly fine. Okay. I, I mean, I may like this, this brick block here. This will be like the edge of a fall off cliff kind of thing with some terraforming below it. Is that too close? You can be honest. Uh, Let's ooh. do a sound test. Ooh, can you he hear? Said, I can, can hear you. Can you hear me from here? Yes. yes so yes. if you're in your shop working out a deal saying, oh, thanks so much, blah, blah, blah. You could, it could be heard from here. Well, my shop will actually be like up over here. Can you hear me now? Noise pollution. Oh, uh, you're a pollution. Ugh. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm more sorry. worried for Tango. You know my game's going to have music, right? That's fine, that's fine. It'll be ambiance. <laughs> okay. I just need to do some terraforming here. So like if you even like raised your up a little bit, that would be fine too or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we can make it work. Excellent. That's what I like to hear, neighbor. Uh, by the way, as, as being uh, adjacent to my magnificent shop, I'm going to need 50% of your proceeds just because of... See, uh, this is the thing that... This is why I'm here. This is, no, 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 no. This is totally that legit. Is, my my no. business is going to bring in so much traffic. 
Um, just, uh, re- I don't have a book. I'll get that document to you shortly, but it's going to bring in so much traffic that obviously just residual fall off. You're going to, you're going to benefit greatly. And I think it's only fair oh. that I receive half of the, uh, half of the income then. I could use some residual fallout See? with redstone See? actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but hold on, hold on. You're saying my business, my business. My bi- are we talking like a purple wool shop here? Or what, what I'm kind talking of business? the redstone shop here. Two S tier items shop. moved into the one. The redstone shop that we've all been waiting. We're all like, oh, I got to craft another repeater. Well, I can't go buy it. I don't do no pop stack. up shop there, Skippy. I'm doing real deal. Yeah, actually, I, I do admire that. That's yes. Really mm. good. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, redstone you got shop. Me that's thinking big, beat-ups. though. Yep. Huh? You got me thinking. Yeah, you, you could probably build here, Tango, but it's, it's going to cost you, of course. Wait, oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's actually, that's, yeah, I think you got that might have misunderstood. It's it's a little backwards. No, no, no. You see, see you got you to gotta pay your due share uh-huh. for the land usage. Uh-huh. Um, six stacks of redstone blocks, three, three to me, three to my manager, 50-50. You know, it's weird as you say that because I, I actually, a, a buddy of mine, he and I, we worked on some new technology that's like a really good way of blowing up large things instantly. Mm. And I mean, mm. it'd be a shame mm. if I were to prototype that over your Frogger game, right? I mean, that, that, can you imagine what would happen? That would be... I'm, get, I'm getting the head shake. This that'd be, sound that'd be potentially bomb, right? devastating. So right. you can make these threats, but I'm not even scared because you don't have a manager, Tango. I have a manager. <laughs> yeah, where's your manager. manager? Don't need a manager. <laughs> these are all just empty one. words. Uh, they're backed up by a manager. All right, all right, listen. I can't be held responsible for any collateral damage that may happen to uh, the surrounding area. All right, I don't once, like where this is once going. Once the no, redstone no. testing happens. I it's... thought I could sucker some redstone no. out of him. All right, a... yeah, we'll give you three stacks. No, 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 this is an excellent manager you have here. Obviously he, he sees I'm the direction. I'm freaking out a little going. bit. I don't want you doing the, the, the thing. The, yeah. The blow I mean, up. I'm, I'm going to have the high ground. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know. I can't be held responsible for where the TNT may fly. That's all I'm going to say. And you know, if, if 50% of your net income might ensure that TNT went in a safe direction, we're going to bomb your inc- decoder. We're going to blow it up. We're going to blow it to No, we're, we're going to randomly change your bits on you, Tango. <laughs> yeah. Random yeah. Randomly change the bits. You won't even know which ones uh, are messed up. Uh-huh. Yep. Don't mess with my bits. De- you'll be debugging for weeks. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Losing your mind. Okay. I'll Six stacks of redstone torches. What is this? <laughs> Why is this happening? Okay. He thinks very highly of this shop that's not even built. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be the greatest redstone shop on the server. I can guarantee that. Uh, I, I bet you you're right. Yeah. Yes. Maybe ever. Well, I mean, let's not get carried away, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. I got digging to do. Thank you. Right. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> This is my redstone shop. I mean, we still have a lot of work to do. Obviously, a lot of work to do, which we're going to try to get to today. But, uh, oh, and by the way, this is this is what we're dealing with on the inside here. So, I like it. There's plenty of space here. I got some ideas. We're going to hopefully have some fun in here today. I don't know how much I'm going to get to, but we will see. We may not actually open the shop today. But, first things first, I need to name the shop. Now, we're selling redstone supplies, right? You know, comparators, repeaters, observers, all like, all, all the things, right? What do uh, What do repeaters do? They add, they add a delay. How much delay would you say they add? 
they had a two tech delay. I, 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 I'm sorry for that. It, it, just, it had to, it just, not really. Two tech delay, all your redstone needs, N needs. I love it, I love it. Okay, what do we got to do here today? Obviously the first and foremost thing I gotta do is terraforming, right? We've got, we, we got cliffs and it's all bleh. I've actually got some really specific ideas to how to make this mountain. That's the reason I built it on a little hill like this. I've got some ideas that are going to make it feel like part of the uh, part of the shop. By the way, can we just go for that smoke up there? Mm -hmm. Other things, other things. I love all the little details around the thing, like little, little extra cargo stocks of redstone supplies and stuff. And then out here, we got this wonderful little crane I made that's like lowering the, the fresh, fresh supply of, of stock coming in. And what I want to do is kind of like make this a little bit more of a sheer cliff and add a little platform down there where like maybe trucks or something or could something like a little road that goes around the mountain here and maybe merges in like a little extra platform where like deliveries are made. I think that's going to look so good. And then on the right side over here, we have this simple little uh, vat of redstone of like liquid redstone. By the way, look at the little, I used the red coral liner to add like a little bit of a little bit of pattern to it. I did that up on the top too. I don't know if you noticed that on the roof. There's like a, here, let me show you. Up on the roof, we've got like this, smokestack chimney thing with like a, 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 a mound, an orb of redstone in there mixed in with the red coral. I love it. And then all the smoke. And uh, if the smoke seems really, really good, it's uh, it's because I might've had Scar help me with it just a little bit. So anyway, we got this vat of liquid redstone over here. I love it. And then I've got this kind of nozzle. The hopper makes a perfect little spout or spigot that's gonna be dripping it in. And what I wanna do is get some armor stands and actually have like dripping redstone going into the this thing. I think it's going to look amazing. We're going to give that a try in a little bit. But top priority first, I think, is some terraforming. I cannot have like floating stuff like that. I can't have floating stuff like this. We got to fix all of this and maybe do a little bit of work on the side of the mountain. Yeah, I, th I think this is working. I think this is working. The idea is I'm trying to do a little like redstone ore deposits in the side of this mountain here. And I think it's kind of working. I mean, I'm no terraformer here, but I'm doing my best here. Let's see. I want to add where some slabs. Smooth it out a little bit more. And there was a piece, where is it? Yeah, this piece is still awkward here. We gotta connect that maybe, or maybe just take that out. I don't know. It's a, it's a fine balance between like way overdoing it and it looking just right. So I think I wanna maybe some of this, some of that. Get a little bit more outcropping. Let's see what this looks like. What do we think? What do we think? Is that okay? Maybe it needs some, maybe it needs some mossy in there. A little bit too much cobble. We'll do, I'm gonna change out a little bit of extra texture. But the shape, I don't know. I don't know. This is new to me. I've never done this. You know, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of fun. This is new for me and I'm kind of enjoying it. Let me show you what we got here. We got the the big redstone ore vein in there, like all hidden below the mountain there. I also added a couple other little ones in the side here just for a little bit of extra little red steel. You know, like the whole mountain is just filled with redstone. That's why we built the shop here. It's easier if I just show you in free cam here. And then we got the little path going up the side here for deliveries for the crane to pick up. I absolutely love how this is all turning out. And I added another redstone like mega vein inside, uh, inside the mountain here and we add just a little bit of lush grass, a little bit here and there, not too much. And it kind of brings the whole place together. Now there's a lot more we could definitely do here, a lot more. And I intend to do it. I mean, the back here, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about the back. We're gonna save that for another day. But what I wanna do now is get some armor stands and kind of play with some like drippy liquid redstone coming out of this nozzle here, bloop, 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 into this vat of liquid redstone. I don't even know what it is. Maybe make it feel like this little bubbles and stuff. In fact, I think, Oh, maybe I'll get some help. Oh, I think she's interested. Okay, we're gonna meet up with Cleo here. Mutie, mutie, hello. Mutie, mutie, always mutie, mutie. That is my problem. <laughs> yep, me Hi. too, me too. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right, how are you? Good, I was about to start something and I was like, you know what, Cleo's on and she's the expert. Would you? Oh no. No, no, okay, no, no. this might stuff. be an easy one, but I, I would, at the very least, <laughs> I would love your, your wisdom and ideas. Okay, All advice, right. advice time. Okay, I've right, my follow voice me. Follow me. Oh, wow. I've been busy. Yeah, this is cool. I've been busy. I've been busy. This is the new this redstone so shop. Cool. <laughs> oh I know. God. It's coming along pretty good. It's coming along pretty good. I'm excited. Uh, but I had an idea here. Do you see this right here? This the, the pool of redstone. It's, yes, it's a, it's. A, it's a, I'm, I'm glad you didn't notice it. Yes, this is a vat of liquid <laughs> redstone, and you see up above there the little nozzle. 
Yes. I, what what would you say about the idea of like armor stand, like drip, 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 and then like some bubbles? Oh, that's and easy. Effervescent that's easy. bubbly bits coming out. Oh, you want like like glass bubbly bits on the surface? Mm, or I don't just... know. I don't know. Maybe well, a glass. Well, like could... proper redstone. I was that's thinking. I was thinking proper redstone from the drips. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I I think like that's that's an easy task. That is that is okay. Uh, Maybe a combination cause, cause... of like glass uh, panes and and drippy drippy magic. Oh no! I was I was thinking like pure glass, like tiny glass blocks, like oh. what, in armor stand hands. <laughs> and okay, so like like a combination of like whatever you've got in this tank that's yeah. making the li liquid stuff. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it work, it work. And then you can have bubbles on the top of the surface. Oh, I love it! I love it. Is that is that, <laughs> is that something I could like uh, maybe get you to do? I don't have a permit for it, but that's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll supply all the stuff and everything if that's okay. Those are the bits I think you should need right there, that's, right? Yeah, that's all. That's all I need. I just need to get some armor stands, and then I can have this done in. I can't click my fingers, but like that. Like that. I love it. Okay, like you're that. the best. You're like the best. That. I'll be here okay, uh, no working in the area, but yeah, no rush. All right. Okay, while Cleo is working her magic over there, let's head inside here. Now I have a tremendous amount of things I want to do in here. Probably not going to get to it today, if I'm honest, but I want to get started a little bit in here at least. Uh, I want to get the floor in, okay? Now, this is one of those rare times I'm going to... Nope, I'm going to use glazed terracotta. I like the black and red glazed terracotta. It's always been my favorite. Go, go figure. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do, okay? You can actually do... Let me see if I can do this without messing it up. Very unlikely. Uh, if you do something like this, I think, and then flip around the backside here and do this, 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 you kind of get these nice little angled stripes and it goes really well with blackstone on the sides, okay? You do this, you do this, some of that. And now look at this. You get basically what looks like a perfect angular stripe. And I think I want to do that as the main floor in here. So maybe, let's see, like if I did... This is me just experimenting here. I'm not sure what the gap I want is. Maybe like that. And then we'll do, let's see. Oh, I got to do like this. It's getting a little bit. No, this is all backwards. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Like that. Something like that. And I do this, 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 and this. And fill all this in. Well, not that. Uh, but we get little stripes like this, right? And it's going to set the tone in here for kind of like a dark atmosphere which I kind of like. I'm not really going for the magical thing, but I just, I don't know. I think this is going to be a great look in here and then we'll brighten things up with the walls a little bit, I hope. Okay, I just realized you can do crosses. <laughs> this is this is amazing. This changes everything. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to try and do like a cross hatch in here with this center little nugget guy in the middle here. Maybe we'll do more than one of these. I don't know. We'll see. We're doing experiment. Hey, Tango, I'm done. You got to be kidding me. That was like the fastest job ever. Okay, hold on. Here we go. You're kidding Hello. me. You're done already. I'm done. You're I told done. You it was an easy one. Oh, I'll go see. I'll go see. <laughs> drip, 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 drip. Oh, that what oh. you had in mind. Yeah, I love how there's one like partially coming out of the hopper. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is really good. Okay. Oh no, I love how it's like dripping out. Look at that. That's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here you go. Okay. One, two, three, okay. four for a little bit of your a little bit of your time. Oh. You're a superstar. Thank you so much. No, thank you. This is perfect. You just saved me like four hours of work. Thanks, Cleo. <laughs> no problem. I'll catch you later. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Yeah, so this took me way longer than I care to admit, but I think it looks pretty awesome. It took me a while to figure out that they don't kind of stack evenly. You got to like, there's like this, see how the line goes and curves a little bit and then and curves a little bit but you know what i actually kind of like that it sets the room off on like a little pattern and i love this floor now i didn't take it all the way to the edges because i mean there's going to be some decorating and stuff like that in here and it's not really worth it so i think what i need to do now is actually start planning out the store this is going to be complicated what i want to do now is have little mini sections and that's why the, the, the building is designed this way with these little kind of jut outs, alcove things, whatever you want to call them. I want to have little sections where you enter the section and a like a calibrated waterlogged skulk sensor will detect you and a little demonstration will happen demonstrating the redstone that is sold in that little section. So for instance, 
you come over here maybe this will be pistons maybe it won't i don't know you come over here and there's like a little piston contraption that goes and like moves an item around and then like over here maybe with droppers there's like items dropping out of a dropper and they get recycled i don't know i have all kinds of little ideas here but i got i, I got a lot of planning here because it looks like a lot of space but it really isn't once you like put interior walls and i need space for redstone it's going to be pretty tight in here all right, I'm satisfied. We got all the redstone done. I got a little sign here. It says not open for business coming soon. So the people know that we're not quite ready yet, but uh, I didn't get a chance to decorate it. That's going to take a lot of time. Uh, but what we did do is we got all the redstone done here. And again, don't 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 really judge the appeal. We're going to decorate even the redstone stuff a little bit more. But let me show you what we got here. There's five stations that are going to sell all the redstone products. So again, each station here is going to demonstrate the products that are being sold in that area. So like this is station one here where we're going to sell redstone dust, torches, repeaters and comparators. Uh, and they'll be, you know, like they'll be like barrels on the wall, standard standard purchasing stuff uh, nearby. But as they approach, like right about here, it's not in yet because I got to go get some skulk sensors and stuff. But as they approach, uh, the system will kick on here and demonstrate the product. So let me show you here. So this one, pretty straightforward here. This one is just, uh, this is where like the skulk sensor will kick on for a little bit of a delay or something like that. Um, this one just does some simple, you know, little uh, comparator uh, pulse extender with a little bit of delay and it restarts enough to just show you the basics of redstone and, and what's going on here. So I like that to show off the four kind of primitives of redstone. And again, these stations aren't going to be running all the time just when you approach and only for like maybe 20 seconds or something like that. This one here I like this is for pistons and sticky pistons when you approach it. And this sequence will probably happen like two or three times. Where's the uh, button? Let's see. We go. Eh. I love it. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. <laughs> completely useless, completely ridiculous, but it goes over, up, gets pulled back, gets pulled down, gets pushed over, and then put back into place. We'll probably have that cycle like two or three times. And again, pistons and sticky pistons will be on sale like right here against the wall or something. This station over here on the left, this is for, what is this? Why, why are you here? You're not supposed to be there. Uh, this station here on the left is for hoppers, observers, and crafters. So what we've got here, well, I'll just turn around and I'll show you. Where's the switch right here? Click the switch, and then I come back out here, and it it's totally, it's not broken. There we go. I had an unnecessary piece of redstone that just totally wasn't, oh, wait, no, <laughs> it's broken. Okay, let's try this one more time here. I might have to reassess my redstone here. All right, the idea is, there we go, there we go. The idea is it spits out nine uh, iron things here. They go into the hopper, it crafts a block. The block gets pushed. <clears throat> I said the block. <sighs> Why is it making nuggets? Okay, the thing I just ripped out, I put it back. It's going to totally work this time. The iron nuggets go out, they get sucked in, and an iron block goes out, gets pushed over, gets converted back into ingots. The ingots then go down here, get converted into a block, and the loop continues. I'm fairly certain this is going to break in about five minutes. But anyway, I think this one is cool. It's very fun to watch. There's really only two iron blocks in the whole system here. One that's in the dropper waiting, it goes up, that one gets immediately converted into ingots goes down and then as soon as the block goes into the crafter it powers the crafter and the, the dropper at the same time and then they just keep looping and recycling all around i think i love this one and then finally we have the ridiculous one this one is for dispensers droppers lamps and target blocks it doesn't actually do droppers but i figured it makes sense to sell droppers in the same place as dispensers so anyways that is a dispenser up there and uh this is the uh chicken accuracy burnificator so what we're gonna do here is doodle my butt up top here up here and we need to get some chickens in here uh eh? and here we go hopefully out of these i'll get some chickens Ch chicken hey there we go two oh we got quads of course we get quads and they spit everywhere really why do they why do, why do chickens get stuck in the wall i boop you oh I see you. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some silence name tags to shut these cluckers up, but once they grow up, they're gonna be laying eggs all the time. And the idea, whoa, the idea is that it will fill up the dispenser there, okay? Now, when they come over here and this thing turns on, I mean, there's no, uh, there's no, what do you call it, in there now? There's no eggs in there now? So I will show you what, well, I'll show you what it does anyways, though. You flick this. And this, this sounds ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What would happen is 
the, the target block extends and at the exact same time it shoots an egg down onto the target block and then in the back we have some redstone that will score the accuracy of that egg throw and light up the appropriate number of lamps based on how accurate the dispenser was and then of course if a chicken is made well yeah into the happy fun sauce with the but i think this one's kind of fun once we silence the chickens and i'm hoping you know that we will have enough eggs built up over time it's only going to take like three chickens i think and this thing will be filled up in like a week or so and again when someone comes in here it's only going to shoot probably like 10 eggs or something like that i don't know we'll see and now the last thing i can sell with my redstone permits is all the skulk sensor stuff i can sell skulk sensors calibrated skulk sensors catalyst i know it's misspelled it didn't fit on the sign right but the idea here is there's going to be a staircase down into the the basement right there'll be like some dark basement where i can totally change the the tone we'll dig out some more of this and everything uh and it's gonna be totally skulk infested with like all the crud on the walls and everything i'll probably even have some like you know oozing out and coming up the staircase a little bit here i think it'll be great and then down there we'll have uh skulk sensors catalyst all that stuff and we'll do another another demonstration down there so that'll be the shop but i want to put a lot of time into detailing this which i definitely do not have time for right now because in about six hours i have to get on a plane to michigan kind of seems weird letting you guys in on the surprise but by the time you see this the weekend will be over so that will do it for today we got a tremendous amount done here and i'm really 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 excited about this shop but we got a lot to do still we got to do all this in the back here of course and i'm gonna do a lot more detailing outside of course the detailing inside all the details so when i get back i will be opening up the shop here i cannot wait for the first customers to come piling in to two check delay thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time.